Now, why do we have to pay extra attention in separation versus mixing versus agitation? Well, mixing is the natural effect of two components that will occur spontaneously, meaning that if you may have a component A and you add it to component B, by nature, if they are miscible, of course, if they are not, well, you will have no mixing. But if they are miscible, what you will see is that the entropy increase in the universe is positive and therefore this will be spontaneous, meaning that you don't need to add work, you don't need to agitate this, you don't need to heat it, you don't need to uh, move it or you don't need to add anything external. This will occur by its own. Agitation, in the other hand, is non-spontaneous meaning that it requires an external force and typically you will do it in a given pattern either a circular way or maybe in a I like to call this in eight way it starts moving here or maybe up and down maybe vibrating i don't know whatever the pattern is this will not be spontaneous you need to add extra work or extra uh, force outside force and separation is non-spontaneous but will typically require much more higher amount of energies in order to overcome agitation or mixing so this is one of the worst things for us as engineers because typically separation requires a lot of increase sorry a decrease in entropy of the system and you know guys that in order for something to be we have the universe, the entropy of the universe is always the system plus the entropy of the surroundings. And if this is gonna be positive and if this is very, very negative, then what you need to do is to create a huge amount of entropy in the surroundings, which typically means a lot of money in order to create chaos in the surroundings, in order for our entropy in the universe to be possible. So we know that by definition, every separation process will be negative in entropy because we are ordering a system we have a and b chaotic very chaotic mixed and separating a and b this is of course a decrease in entropy in the system and for this to be occurring in real life or in our known universe we will have to create a lot of entropy in the external or surroundings and these typically cost a lot of resources, which means a lot of money. So that's why it will be, if I tell you, this is very common sense. If I tell you to mix uh, milk and coffee, you maybe just add it and wait for it to mix alone. You know, coffee mixes readily with milk, or maybe you are desperate and you're in a hurry, so you mix it. But what will happen, guys, if I tell you, I, Let's say that we have our coffee with milk. What will happen if I tell you, I want you to separate coffee and milk? Well, that's way another thing, right guys? Because it's not like you just boil this and you get milk and coffee, right? Because both of them have a water. So this will be a very challenging task. How can we separate coffee and milk without degradation, of course? Because maybe you tell me, well, if we separate these by centrifugation or maybe by heating well if you heat milk at very high temperatures you're going to have degradation of proteins so that's the passionate thing on separation that typically mixing and agitation is easy but going the reverse separating the components is very very hard so I want you to try to guess all the processes that will imply a very easy to mix or agitate process and a very difficult separation process. For instance, gasoline and oil. Well, modern nature literally just mix all dead bodies, corpses, uh, plants, rocks, sediments, high pressures, and it created oil, which is a mixture. But for us to separate that, guys, well, you gotta add a lot of energy into that. And that's why petroleum refining takes relatively high amounts of energy to separate. 